Well, the first of Melbourne's long-awaited new trains was on track today but was quickly back in the workshop for more tests. The opposition says it was a government stunt to take the focus off the troubled MyKey ticketing system. MyKey was still giving Lynn Kosky trouble this morning and as she boarded the 10.13 to Glen Waverley, a reminder that most Melburnians still can't use the smart card. Remember to validate your med card. The Transport Minister was joined by the Acting Premier for a quick trip to East Richmond. It's great to have the first of the 38 new trains that are on order delivered today. It smells like a new train. Extra police were making sure it stayed that way. I think it's fantastic. There's no graffiti on the windows yet. There's also fewer seats and passengers approve. They've got more space. People are like, hang on, to be better for busy times. But the Metro boss revealed the new train was headed back to the workshop. How many passenger trips will it be running every day? Oh, I'm not going to run it too many. We're going to see how it goes today, see what we need to modify after that, see how long that takes us, and then we'll put it back into service when we're ready. Most of the problems are with the train's onboard computer systems. They're expected to take about a month to fix, meaning it will be the end of January before it's doing regular passenger runs. If this train is not up and operating for commuters today, then this is nothing more than a PR stunt. It was certainly a welcome distraction. The Transport Minister was copying plenty of flack over my key on morning radio, with faulty machines and confusion over the partial rollout. I'll start using my key after a while, once, it, uh, once it's all in place and all the problems are sorted. More than 14,000 commuters have registered for the smart card, but plenty more are giving it a wide berth. Maybe six or 12 months. Andrew Lund, 7 News.